in programming, an enumerator type is a type that consists of a set of values. In other words, a union. But not the kind of union that ruins an innocent billionaire's day on their shiny yacht. More like the other kind, that groups a set of values, with each value being a member of that group. Rust also has enums because you often need them. But unlike TypeScript, where an enum is only a fancy type over a number or a string, Rust's enums are even more advanced. If you know TypeScript's union types, you can add these and TypeScript's enums together and you come close to what Rust's enums actually are. They can act as a mere replacement for a constant integer or string, but also host other types, which makes them pretty powerful. If you use them as a replacement for a constant, you can give your enums members fitting names and compare them with each other. That's great if you need a human readable identifier for the kind of a thing. Let's take this struct, for example, that models a car. If you want to somehow define the color of that car, you can either use a hex code or, for more simplicity, use an enum with all possible colors a car's paint can have. Now you can easily compare whether two cars have the same color. You can take enums even further by putting data inside them. Because Rust's enums are variadic types. Variadic in this case means that enums can contain anything, in any order, and even further, any combination of different properties within their member types. Unlike other languages with more advanced enums, where each member of an enum needs the same structure to make the construct work, Rust allows the types to be as different as possible. Staying with the color analogy, you can, for example, create an enum that models the different color models. The enum color then contains a member RGB with three values, RGBA with four values, and CMYK also with four values. Additionally, any enum can have an implementation, which means that you can add logic that deals with the variadic nature of that type. You can, for example, add a function that takes care of conversion between the models. Enums in Rust can be pattern matched. With a match statement, you can structure the individual parts of the enums member and access them individually. This is how you usually deal with the many possible types an enum can take. You match them, see what you got, and add logic for each individual member type. Memory-wise, it's good to know that an enum always takes up as much memory as its largest member. And it doesn't matter whether your smallest type has no nested data. If the largest member takes two 64-bit integers, an instance of the enum will always take up that much space, plus some size for a discriminant. That discriminant is an integer that uniquely identifies the member type of an enum. In some rarer circumstances, the compiler can eliminate that discriminant by using invalid bit patterns. These are bit patterns that cannot occur for certain types, like anything else than 0 or 1 for a boolean. If such an invalid bit pattern can be created that still allows for the unique identification of the member type, the compiler emits an enum without the discriminant, which saves some memory. That's it for Rust's enums in 180 seconds. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Until then, see you in the next video.